so often when mums um, come into the clinic and see me or they email or they message, first thing they say is, help, I've tried everything. I'm at my wits end, I don't know what to do, I'm stressed, I'm tired, I'm helpless, I've tried everything. Then when I get talking to them, there is more things to try. All they've usually tried is the common superficial symptom type things like um, you know, colic drops or drops to clear wind or you know drops that fix this and drops that fix that. It's all symptom because they're just drops to clear winds. What you've got to look at is why your baby's windy, what happened, what happened at the delivery that is creating this wind and colic and reflux in your baby. So probably 99% of the mums think they have tried everything and it's like this might be some last resort help. And I have so much information, so many things there to help you things that you haven't tried. For example, um, you know, changing milk can be really successful and lots of mums have changed, but maybe not, um, that didn't work because it was not the thing causing the wind. Lots of mums are worried about changing milk, so they need a bit of reinsurance about maybe changing the formula. Lots of mums are told that the foods they eat don't matter, they don't go through to the um, into the breast milk, but it does, 100%, that can be a reason. Things at the delivery, can have created the upset baby and the drops you're using have no match for what happened there. So if your baby's had perhaps a forceps or a von two's delivery and they're stiff and they've got the tension of this delivery up here, the colic drops aren't gonna help this part. So you need some of the, perhaps the physical treatment or the calming ways to help calm all of this down. The drops aren't gonna help that. Those drops, don't help putting the good bacteria back in the baby that's been knocked out because of antibiotics. So here you have you have the wind happening, then you've got your drops here, the symptom relief for the wind, which isn't working because you haven't come back to get the cause. What has caused the change in the gut bacteria to create the wind here? And there's loads of reasons the bacteria changes, loads, it's amazing. And that's kind of where the whole calm and colic, how to help the 10 causes of colic come from, because um, of all the different reasons, and you can take those reasons and then correct the cause. So if you're pulling your hair out in frustration and you're thinking, I've tried everything, I'm very certain that within the course and the way I take you through everything, you will find something that you haven't tried and that will fit much better with what is causing your baby to be upset.